Jean Claude Van Damme. Where am I going to find a place to put another Lucky Well Batmobile? My bat cave is full. Full, full, full. No room to put another Batmobile. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to replace this one and put the new one. So this is gonna be the new driving spot for the new Batman vs Superman Batmobile. Sounds good. What's up my little TCL Scorpion72 and here we're going to be taking a look at the new Batmobile from the Batman vs Superman movie. You might hear, you might have heard about it, you know, it's a little movie called Batman vs Superman coming out like uh, March 25th this year, it's supposed to come out last year. I don't know if you guys heard about it, you might want to check it out, who knows. Anyways, <laughs> um, this is the Batmobile that's going to be in the movie. Um, first question offhand, where can I see that this is the package by the way? So for all you mint box collectors and stuff like that, you have to really take a good look at the vehicle because it is open and it's exposed. Um, my other th the second thing is, is that it's not the same color as in the movie because I believe the, the car is black. So they gave it like an army type green to it. I don't know why. Um, maybe they'll issue another car in black that comes with Batman. Or maybe even the mood. Maybe the same the, the 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 color of the Batmobile from the movie for like a movie masters or something like that. Because this is for the six inch line um, directed towards kids, and they do have a movie masters line which has a build a figure piece within it. So as you can see, the packaging comes with cannons and stuff like that. Um, missiles here and on the back of the packaging of course mine's got all that bilingual stuff I don't know if they have it universal everywhere even the states but here in Canada uh, we have it bilingual so this just tells you warnings and stuff doesn't really give you any description of anything even down here there's no description and here just shows you how to put the missiles how they apparently when you hit the front part of the gun um, or the missile thing the engine cover comes off so which is pretty neat and you can fit a figure inside so we're going to take a look and see what else this vehicle can do how it rolls and I don't have any of the movie six inch figures just yet or the movie master one so I will use a DC universe collectible um, that's sorry, DC uh, classics figure as well as a DC icon figure to see how it looks inside this vehicle um, even though I just did a vehicle, I <laughs> just did a video of what vehicles fit with the DC Icons Batman. Well, we're gonna see if this one also works as well. All right, so without further ado, let's release the Batmobile. All right, so right off the bat, I've got to say I like it. It rolls really well. As you can see, um, it's actually got some design here at the bottom too, showing you the engine and everything like that. Um, well, the engine, like the, the exhaust part and everything at the bottom of the vehicle. The wheels are plastic inside, like it's hollow out. Um, yeah, we got the two missiles that fire pretty far up. There goes one, there goes another. So the two rockets here are in green, basically to just show like the kryptonite. That's what I'm guessing, that's where there are like kryptonite rockets or something like that. They're very like a bright translucent green. And also another thing to note is the gun turret does not turn, it's pretty much facing forward and does not rotate, which is too bad, but I guess for the special feature, they had to keep it like that, but basically uh, Batman can only fire straight ahead. And the feature is really really cool here, um, basically you have it there if I take Superman and you can ram him into it, you'll see that uh, if you go like that and then thing pops right off which is really really cool let's do that again so here from a different angle the feature for this Batmobile is basically having the car like it's been smashed and the um, engine cover is popped right off so as you can see I'm just gonna drive it straight in and do another demonstration that for more the more force you hit it with the more higher pop like that voila 
So, upon exploding the car, <laughs> there is a lot of silver here, as you can see. A lot of silver showing you the engine and everything like that. So there's a lot, a lot of silver interior and stuff there. So I think that's where a lot of the paint went, even when you open up. There's nothing in the cockpit. There's not even a computer console in the cockpit or anything like that. And it's very easy. You can just lift that up. You can put this in there and you just replace them. You slide back up the, the gun and you just replace the panels just like that. And they go in nicely, loose, and there you go. All right. Also on a quick side note, um, there are no extra paint apps in this car. None whatsoever. Just, just got a little red, uh, like I guess that's supposed to be a light or something in the front. Um, it's like a hazard warning. It says uh, danger. Yeah, it says danger. Oops, there we go. Danger or something there. Uh, and on the back, nothing really. Like, we figured they put like some paint and the exhaust. I'm not sure, but until we see the movie, we won't really know if that's like an exhaust point. I'm guessing it is because all Batmobiles pretty much have that, and I don't see why this won't be any different. But it's no silver paint or nothing like that to add a little extra detail. It now, let's see how uh, the Dark Knight fits in this new Batmobile. So, I'm gonna attempt to put three. Batmans in this um, Batmobile. Not all at the same time, of course, because that would be silly. <laughs> but hey, let's see what happens. Oh, let's fit that back in. So, first Batman is going to be my DC Collectibles Classics Batman. This is one of the last Batmans they made before DC Classics got cancelled when they tried to bring a new 52. So, this is a new 52 Batman. And as you can see, uh, just that I customized the cape, I have a bigger cape on him, and even with the bigger cape, he fits in snug, really, really well. No trouble whatsoever. Plenty of leg room. <laughs> Joker with it, and voila, closes. There you go. So the next Batman I'm gonna try quickly in this Batmobile is Batman. I forgot their name. I think it's um. Oh boy, the Dark Knight one. Um, it's from DC Superheroes. It's one of the harder ones to find. And I think it was, I don't remember the name of the Nightmare, not Nightmare. But anywho, I'm sure somebody out there will be able to remind me. Because I do have a lot of Batmans, so kind of track of them. And there you go. He's one of my favorite ones. He's got a cross between like Batman Beyond and uh, Nightmare Batman. There you go. He fits in just nicely in there too. Um, another Batman that just came to mind that I'm going to try is the the Kristen Bale Batman. Let's see how he looks in the car. So next up is the Kristen Bale movie Batman. So we're going to try him inside the car. So he fits in there quite nicely too. He looks kind of nice in there. Voila. Alright. And last but not least, let's try DC Classics Icon Batman. Alright, so DC Comics Icon's Batman. Just came out. See so, you know, he does have a vehicle and the size he fits right in there as well. Cape, you just have to readjust a bit. Lots of room for him also. As you can see, voila, you have a car for Batman. Surprise, surprise! A little bit of squeezing, you can get the Arkham Origins Batman in there from a DC Collectibles. There's seven inch figures, and he f really fills up the seat. Um, a little difficult to get in there, so be warned. Uh, hopefully, you have the newer versions of these figures because the plastic's stronger. And yeah, there you go. Boom! Batman Arkham Origins has a Batmobile, also. Pretty neat. Love it. So basically, this new Batmobile from the movie can fit just about any of your 6 inch Batmans um, figures that you may have, and it's really, really nice, free rolling, has no problem, and quite affordable actually, it's not too bad, I got mine under the like $40 mark there, it's obviously 20% off, so you can find it roughly about the $30 up here in uh, the Canada, 
um, it might be cheaper elsewhere or maybe down the, in the States you might find it a little bit cheaper but very very nice very sleek um, simple design uh, I do hope that we make one in black <laughs> that would be cool to actually have one that actually resembles the movie car and yeah yeah, I do recommend this car if you if you're a Batman fan or even if you need a vehicle for Batman or any of your Batman figures, um, this works pretty well. So this is Scorpion 72 telling you um, to enjoy your toys. Uh, oh yeah, the Batmobile should be available at um, retailers everywhere, even online retailers. I got mine from Toys R Us. I'm sure you can find a Toys R Us from Walmart, but Toys R Us seems to be getting the lump some of these figures right now. Um, just before the movie and the movie's in about what, three months, so there's going to be a lot more coming down the pipeline, I'm sure, and they'll probably show you more at Toy Fair um, in next month. Hope so, till next time, uh, as I just said, enjoy your toys and keep playing. Scorpion 72 out. Shut up, Clark. You know how many newspapers you're gonna have to sell to repair my car and pay for this? Do you? You're paying for this. I don't care what you have to say. You're gonna be working for the rest of your life at the Daily Planet. Oh, crap. You better fly away. You better. And you better start working to pay for my car. Start selling those newspapers, farm boy. Start selling those newspapers. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman.